Andy, thanks. Well, high property valuations have been a topic, of course, across the state and by lawmakers all year long. But as lawmakers get ready to convene for that special session on Friday to give tax relief to homeowners, fire protection districts worried the relief may mean less money to fund them. Our Devin Karp is now joining us in the studio to explain. Devin. Diane, this is the letter submitted to lawmakers by 27 fire chiefs all from El Paso County, they want to make sure the money they receive to run their fire departments will not be cut. So any cut is going to be significant. It's going to impact service in some way across every fire district. Cimarron Hills Fire District Chief Andrew York says he and every other fire chief in El Paso County are concerned about what potential reductions in property values could mean for the fire districts in Colorado. Primarily, all fire districts in the state of Colorado are funded through property tax. Any reduction in property valuation and property taxes received by fire districts results in us losing revenue, which has its consequences. Losing revenue for us does mean that there are potential impacts to services. The 27 chiefs wrote a letter to Governor Polis and lawmakers urging them to consider other options, since 70% of all fire departments are fire districts that rely on property taxes. You know, you look at a fire engine a couple years ago was costing $600,000, $700,000. Now we're 1.2, 1.3 million for that same engine. You know, several years ago it was $4 million to build a really nice new shiny fire station and now we're seeing 12 million. Other options fire districts are advocating for include reducing income tax instead of property taxes, a statewide sales tax, or asking the government to backfill any lost revenue from lower property taxes. First and foremost is property tax relief. Republicans focused on honest tax relief. Both Democrats and Republicans are set on moving forward to lowering property taxes, but Democrats seem open to backfilling lost revenue. And there's strong support for backfilling both school districts and especially fire districts. Yeah. So I, I think now there is a consensus to backfill 100% of fire districts. While Republicans are opposed to backfilling and want districts to work towards smaller budgets in the long term. If we need to provide buffering or transitional dollars in a short term basis for some of the smaller counties or some of the smaller districts that actually have a financial problem, then, then we can have that conversation. Fire Chief York tells me they will have conversations with lawmakers tomorrow ahead of the special session on Friday and hope to find some compromise. That special session is expected to last three days or longer before lawmakers can pass any legislation. Rob? Devin, thank you.